Hi, welcome to the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. I'm your host, Brian. Today, I decided to do the day of the four-way blind from Discovery 6 all the way to 9. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers there, have their favorite, but judging by the bottles, um, so far it looks like number 6 is my favorite. Right now, 8 and 9, I just recently got these, probably I'd say a couple weeks ago. So I haven't really, they haven't had a lot of time to air out yet. So I decided, you know what, today I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this four-way blind and see which nose I prefer and which palette I prefer. I've already pre-put them in their glasses. They would number one, two, three, and four, and then randomly mixed them all up for about five minutes. So let's get into the nosing. I'm going to go from left or from your left, my right, over. So let's get into the first glass. Cool. Has a very sweet note, almost like a, almost like a honeysuckle. Um, you ever smell or, or taste a honeysuckle? To me, it has a, a little bit of a sweet taste. And the nose just reminds me of that it's a little bit of a, a little oakiness, but very, very sweet, like a, almost like a red fruit, almost like a, a strawberry or, or a plum. Has that kind of nose. Try for the second glass. Oh, that's a darker note. That's way darker. Oh, yeah, that's um, like a dark fruit. Almost like a blackberry. A little bit of vanilla in there. But definitely a darker note. We'll go for glass number three. <coughs> oh, this has a like a slight. You can smell an oaky note on it, vanilla, but definitely subtle. It's like um, like a raspberry, like a, in like vanilla cream. But it's very 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 light. Now we'll go in for glass number four. Well, this is this smells an older, like an older, like the bottle's been open for a bit. Oh, I definitely like this. Is probably my favorite. This glass here is probably my favorite nose. Get a lot of that caramel, vanilla, um, banana note. That's weird, but like a like a banana with strawberries. So we've got our nosing down. Now we'll get into the taste. Go for glass number one. Ooh, it's got a little bit of heat behind it. Not much, just a titch, but it's good. Very, very, that, that, that sweet definitely carries over into the taste and that it's, it's it's there and then it just kind of fades. Now the heat is there in the back end. It's back in the back of uh, the throat. But that sweetness is kind of there and then it just kind of fades off real fast. Going for a second taste. Yeah. You definitely get now that little bit of um, oak note, a little bit of vanilla. But it definitely... It goes and it just fades that quick. So the nose was great, but I just like um, I like the finish to be a little bit longer, not as uh, there and gone. Oh, that's a lot of red. That's a lot of raspberry. Wow, that is right up front in your mouth, raspberries and sugar that's what that reminds me of like if you took raspberries and you you dipped them in white sugar and popped it in your mouth that 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 still lingers in it and it sticks to the top of the roof of the mouth and and on the palate and it, that that little bit of heat but at that taste it's still going it's still going there's your little bit of a your oak 
but I really, I really like the flavor on that. It just, it's just like that raspberry. It's like a strong raspberry note for me. Well, for glass number three. Oh, there's a vanilla oak it's right up front and mid palate, and it just dies like that quick. Just goes there, the heat's there, but that, that flavor, it's there, and then that's gone. It's like barely there at all. Yep, again, it's right up front, a lot of oak, a lot of vanilla, a little bit of a um, butterscotch note, but then it just fades real fast. Yeah, this is this one I'm gonna say is my least favorite. I don't like when the, the like a lot of people like Jason see they, they like that mouth feel and and then how good it feels in your mouth and you know you can taste it from the palate and the tongue all the way back. A little bit of heat, but when it finishes, that definitely has a definitely has a more peppery note on the back end. Number glass number three, but it's for the taste that peppers. Whoo, whoo, Pardon me, it's still there. But yeah, for me, this this is going to be, I'm going to call it now. That's going to be number four. I don't like that. I mean, I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite out of these. We're going for glass number four. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. That full mouth feel. Coach your mouth. You get oak, caramel, butterscotch, like the butterscotch uh, chips. Like you pop those in your mouth as a kid. With vanilla, you get a little bit of red fruit, a little, a, just a hint of heat, but it coats the whole mouth. That, that's what I like right there. I just that whole mouth feel and just how good it tastes. So definitely we'll go in for one more taste. Oh yeah. Oh, that red fruit pops through again. The hardcore. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of the oak note, but that mouth feel like, like literally like it's to sound weird. My mouth is like watering. It's that mouth coating. So compared to no glass number one. That's there. So these are gonna these are kind of right in that that wheelhouse of mine. Let's go on for glass number two. Yes, this is definitely third place for me. And between these two, I'm going to have to give it up for glass four. So in my fourth place in the battle between six through nine is wow, glass number one. All right. It's the disco number six. So that came in fourth place for me. And third place was number two. This is funny. Is number seven. In third place or second place is number. Oh, they're like they're going in order. So for me, number four, disco number nine. That had the best mouthfeel, the best overall palate, the best flavor, and this one had the least. So it just tells me. I mean, as you can see, it was my favorite, but it looks like I'm leaning toward number nine. I'm glad I bought a backup. Thanks for watching. It's the average whiskey drinker. Remember, find a bottle, open a bottle, enjoy the bottle, because good whiskey is always meant to be shared. Thanks.